Greetings and salutations, my dudes. It's been a while, I think, since I've done like a voiceover and a draw with me. I've been busy these past, actually no, I have not been busy. It was the holidays and I wanted to do nothing. So that's what I did and it felt great. I finished the fall semester about two weeks ago and then after that I just took the longest break and it felt so nice because I haven't taken a break since um, I don't know like the summer and it just felt great to just relax not do anything with my store not have any projects just take it easy and you know it's important to always take a break when needed and sometimes you don't even notice that you need a break but you know just relax watch some Netflix you know um so happy new year guys it's it's finally over i mean more or less but 2020 is out the door we don't want to talk about her she's done so now it's 2021 new year new me kind of i wanted to reflect back on the work that i've done no, well actually no my work ethics and my mindset within my idea as an illustrator or my my process of drawing i don't know what i'm saying to be honest but i didn't want to reflect on what i learned and what i hope to achieve for the new year so once quarantine started quarantine quarantine started um i started to draw like constantly every day since i had so much time to draw considering that i didn't have to commute um two hours there and back to my school because i have uh my university is in in new york city and i am not in the city so i did have a lot of time therefore i had a lot of things to post on instagram and from that i did build upon my following and such but then i started to get in this mindset of having to draw and well i mean i mean i don't mind drawing every day now it's like i have it it's what i like doing so i don't hate it but the thought of having to post every day um kind of dwelled in my mind it was always in the back of my head and if i didn't post i'm like i thought like oh my god my following's gonna go down my likes are gonna go down and by the end of the year, I mean, I still post almost every day, but only because I want to. If I don't want to post, then I won't post because it's my account and I'm not going to let Instagram control me. <laughs> By the end of the year, 2020, the forbidden year, I didn't want to think like that anymore because I was afraid that I wouldn't enjoy drawing or sharing my artwork work with you. If something didn't turn out good and then I'm just like well why did I post this piece of shit oh right because Instagram owns me and the algorithm owns me but I I didn't want to do that anymore and I don't want media social media to consume me or define when and how I want to work and what content I need to post um, but I never had a problem with how like what I needed to post. I want I posted what I wanted to post. Like I know there's some people who draw and create things in a for, for like a relative thing at the moment and I'm just like I could do that, but I won't. Unless it's like an important cause, but if it's like a trending thing, I'm like, yeah, I don't need it. Um so yeah. Another thing that I reflected back and I've like I think has tremendously helped me with my style and just uh, my ability to art is having an ugly sketchbook. I don't know if I talked about this in my previous uh, videos, but um, a lot of artists have been recently getting into these ugly sketchbooks, and I think I got it personally from Fran, um, Fran Franard and it's it's given me the privilege to not give a fuck about what i'm drawing and it's not that it's not i'm not pressured into having to draw something that needs to be pretty because that's the premise of the sketchbook it isn't meant to be pretty and 
I think that's important because like if it's a sketchbook, first of all, it's a sketchbook. It's not your, you know, full illustration. So if it's, it's okay, ugh, it is okay to mess up if it happens. And um, that also falls in line with not drawing with a pencil, which I have been, I don't know. Actually, I might have been, I, hmm, I think I've been doing them for two years now, but I got like immensely into like not using a pencil to sketch or draw with, um, unless it's like a serious thing. But from that, I think I've progressed with my artwork a lot and style a lot. And I encourage you guys to try it out. I know you might like not like it at the beginning and it might be fucking horrible because you can't erase it. But at the end of the day, it'll like, at the end of the long run, it, it, I swear to God, it will, you'll see improvement. Um, but again, it also depends on how much you draw on a daily basis. I tend to draw like every day because I just, I have nothing else to do. <laughs> When I'm watching Netflix, I, I draw. If it doesn't involve me reading subtitles, I will. I always like drawing, doing something. Another thing that I guess I pushed myself towards was trying new mediums. Um, this past semester, I took an oil painting class because I was required to, not because I wanted to. But um, I really started to fall in love with oil painting, despite its uh, complexity of mineral oil and you know death of breathing in toxin air but you know i digress but i like the looseness that oil can um produce within a painting so i'm actually gonna get started on a couple paintings in oil probably just sketches one is for a present for my father i don't know why i said father <laughs> but uh yeah i i did tend to challenge myself more and uh I'm gonna try to push myself further to, um, you know, try new mediums and such. Another like big thing that um, I ended off doing, ended up doing at the end of the year was um, transition transitioning out of K-pop fan art and well, primarily BTS fan art. So when I first started out, actually we know. I think for the past two or three years, I've been, no, it might have been four years, a long time, <laughs> probably four years, I've been drawing just mostly K-pop fan art, and it like transitioned towards just primarily BTS fan art with the hints of K-pop and you know, just random sketches. But from that, I think I got consumed with having to draw BTS fan art only all the time because I was afraid that all my followers were gonna unfollow me because it's not BTS fan art. And I didn't wanna think like that anymore because like I wanna draw what I wanna draw. And of course I did enjoy drawing BTS fan art. I did draw enjoy drawing BTS as a whole, but um, I thought about it in the long run and I didn't wanna stick to that, um, I know I'm gonna use the wrong word, but I didn't wanna stick to that genre of um, artwork, you know, there's nothing wrong with drawing BTS or like just drawing fan art in general, but I also want to branch out from there. So by the end of the year, I started to create more things that are my own. Not really, I'm still working on that though. And just draw whatever, you know, whether it be um, landscape or, you know, my friends animals just anything that i see that inspires me which of course bts did inspire me a lot and i will still draw it occasionally but i don't want it to be the primary focus of my branding of my um my name <laughs> as an illustrator but again i'm not saying that fan art and having that as your brand is wrong or weird or like you're not doing it right. Personally, I I just want to do my own thing and branch out from there. It was fun. Though. I'm not gonna lie. It was it was really fun, and I got so many cool friends from drawing BTS. Now, following along the lines with uh, New Year resolutions, I had plenty um, in mind. Like I said before, I wanted to try new things. 
I'm very consumed with uh, shows and music and such, so of course I like to still do fan art because I really enjoy uh, drawing things that I like. Um, so I'm excited to do that. I have started to draw different things other than people, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. I've, at the moment, it's just sketches, but it, I. I'm excited to see what I can bring into the table and just progress for with my style, especially with animals because I don't draw animals like ever. But um, I've been drawing a lot of bears lately because you know, unlicensed care bear. And I want to also um, create a better branding for myself, not only with my illustrations but also with like uh, my logo and you know my YouTube and blah blah blah. Chuda chuda ta. <laughs> so. That's what I want to do. Also, another thing, um, because I want to branch out of uh, BTS and K-pop and um, and such, I want to create new uh, product lines for my store. And at the moment, I have my store closed because I need to figure out some personal things. But then also, I want to maybe do a big shop update that is just a complete rebranding. Of course, I'll still have my whatever BTS and um, my previous works that I've have left. It will still be in my store, but uh, my my new line of products will be um, completely different <laughs> from the past previous years of owning a store and I'm so excited. I, I've been working on it lately. I've been getting a lot of opinions from my friends and family and I'm like so excited to show you guys what what will be in store. Um, I don't know if my store will be open this month of January but definitely it will be in the works by I want to say February, mid-February. I'm not really sure. I don't really know how my schedule will work out for school but um, hopefully I can get everything done before the new semester starts so I'm very excited for the the products um, and I hope you guys will uh, stick by me and such and you know -doop -dop. Uh, another thing that I want to try out other than like the materials because I said I did say I started using more mediums um, I guess I did want to develop from my mediums that I currently use and try to render more. I started rendering, um, if you follow me on Instagram, I sometimes, a lot of the times, I will post um, sketches, right? And they're like quick sketches and such. And then other times they'll be like, all right, illustrations, they're kind of like, they're not too intense, but they're colored and such and more worked on than the sketches that I post. They're, and then they're like the level 100, um, illustrations that I have that are like rendered whether it be digital or traditional like you'll know when I spent so much time on a piece and it kind of it kind of sucks that those pieces don't get a lot of um interactions I guess on like Instagram or just social media in general and I'm just like god damn but you know that's that's what um that's one of my goals to not really care about social media um and yeah, I, I'm still gonna do it regardless, but like, I have like, at the moment I have like three tiers. First tier is sketches, second tier is like, uh, flat illustrations, and then the third tier is like, OD boss. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I wanna work more on those mediums, and I don't know, I don't know what if I, hmm. Are there any new mediums I want to try this year? When it comes to me, I will be like, yes, I want to try that. Punching rugs or <laughs> imagine you're just punching a rug. Um, a lot of mutual artists that I have um, and uh, just artists in general, they've been getting a lot into um, rugs. But I don't think I'm a crafty person. I just like doing like wet media or, you know, I don't, I can't, that's too much work for me. I can't sew really well. Um, I guess I like doing clay stuff, but at the end I end up painting, so it's like I need to paint the something. I don't want to make a rug or, you know, but it is very cool. Like, that's kind of trending right now, and I'm like, whoa, that's sick. But I don't think I'm gonna try that. <laughs> it's not my thing. I also want to develop my style, of course, but that's also a constant thing that I always want to do. I never want to stop learning and 
developing on what I do. I feel like that's something that an artist should never like never get too cocky as to whether they should stop like trying because it's like oh I'm good I'm great I don't need to progress anymore I'm better than everyone um that's not me um and I hope that's not you guys as well because you don't want to be in that mindset because then you'll just uh go down from there you always try new things you know and I guess color schemes as well uh, I want to I guess study more color theory and such or bullshit my way around color theory because lately I guess I've always stuck with this certain color palette maybe and I just want to branch out from there but um you know also put in color theory because I haven't taken a color theory class in maybe four years and I remember nothing nor do I think I learned much in that class because my professor really didn't teach us much so falling back in line with my products and such I definitely want to improve on my business um, not only with my store but also with YouTube and um, you didn't hear this from me but I might I possibly most likely will be um, creating a patreon I don't know when that will be up but it is currently in the works and I can't wait to share it with you guys um, and um, yeah i just really at the moment i work at a restaurant right and you know there's nothing wrong with that um i don't hate the people that i work with or the people that come in usually occasionally we will get a karen and you know it'll just be a bitch but you know <laughs> you can't do anything about that in a, a service job but um i do don't tell my bosses i do want to i do want to fully commit to a full illustration freelance job and you know my store can only give me so much money and um, so that's why I want to open a patreon so I can achieve that dream and hopefully quit the job that I currently have and fully commit to illustration because that's what I really want to do. So that's what I I currently I really I really want to I really want to achieve being a full time illustrator. And I know I'm like um starting earlier than others maybe because I'm still in college but I still wanna have like an income but I'm I i do not really enjoy um my job that much anymore because I'm I'm just so anxious to start illustrating like full-time and having a sustainable income from it and uh, so yeah <laughs> I hope you guys look forward to that patreon um, and if you want any updates on that uh, follow me on Instagram at unlicensed care Bear and Twitter but I don't really post on Twitter that much but uh, it's also unlicensed care Bear. <laughs> so yeah I hope you guys look forward to that because uh, I'll work really hard and you know give you guys things in return through that another thing um i want to better the quality and um i want to better the quality of my work and my products of course on my um store i feel like when i jumped into making a store and doing my updates constantly I didn't really take the time to research more within like sticker paper and just like printing paper and a printer and such. So now I'm left with a lot of things that I need to figure out and make the quality as best as possible for you guys to purchase because I don't want you guys to like end up buying something from like a with a printer paper, <laughs> inkjet paper. It's not the best type of paper, but um. So yeah, I definitely want to improve on my quality of my, my work and like also like my artwork too because I tend to be very loose and sloppy with my work but I feel like that's just my style and um, yeah, I think, I think I've talked about everything that I want to achieve for the new year. I'm very excited for what's to come, hopefully, God I pray. <laughs> <laughs> um this whole situation that's been happening for the past uh year will you know come to an end 
soon and um, we will all be able to go out and do what's needed and get things back to normal. And I just miss seeing all my friends, so I can't really travel to see them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me draw and listening on my rambling as usual. But um, I hope your 2020 was a, you know, you, you sufficed, you pulled through, and I'm proud of you guys for pulling through. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic new year. Let's make 2021 our bitches. And leave a comment down below as to what your new year resolutions are. Uh, I would love to know. So yeah, just let me, I would love to know your resolutions and such. And I will bid you adieu. So, bye.